Hello and welcome back to The Hard Way. Today you join me as we cut some uprights for the underbay walls. I'm using some leftover scrap uh, 2 inch by 3 inch angle iron that's 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. So the saw I'm using uses an abrasive disc to cut through the metal. Uh, it's not a super accurate uh, method of cutting this steel. Uh, in later videos you'll see me switching to a saw that uses a carbide steel blade to cut the metal. So the next step was to get all the pieces cleaned up. Because of the saw we used to cut them I had to clean up all the ends because they had burrs on them and they wouldn't fit nice for the welds. And then I cleaned up all the surface rust because they were recycled uh, pieces of steel. The grinder I'm using has a flap disc installed on it. It leaves a better surface finish because it just uses a bunch of flaps of sandpaper uh, all spinning around on the same disc to just lightly sand the steel instead of grinding it. Uh, it also, if you push hard enough, is aggressive enough to smooth off all the burrs using it so you don't have to switch discs all the time. So what I'm doing here is I am making my end uprights, my verticals, and they will um, cap my, my C-channel that I have for the horizontal. So I have to just take and cut this notch out, and uh, yeah, then I'll have my last pieces for this, this end wall, or this wing wall. Knowing what I know now, I probably would have just used my little portable bandsaw to cut these notches out. It would have been faster, cheaper because you're not going through discs, and it would have been a more precise cut. Also I probably should have been wearing a dusk mask this whole time, grinding on this rusty and painted steel. Uh, you can see all the dust just flying off as I sand this down. Uh, yeah, would have been wise to have a dust mask on. And there we have it. I have all my uprights sanded and ready to be welded up. After I get this welded up, then we can prime it and paint it and we can get it on the bus. So hopefully I can get that done tomorrow, but we'll see. So here you can see me welding up the actual wall. I swept the concrete floor and it's a very nice flat floor, so I was able to use that to keep me all nice and flat and in plane with the wall. I have all the uprights fully welded in here now. And this will be a bay with the door on it, three foot door. This will be a door. This will be a door. And then this is where those air conditioning coolers will hang. But uh, yeah, got everything welded up. I have to put a rail across the bottom here that the floor will hang on. Once I get that done, I can flip it over. I have a few welds to do well, on these ends. And then I should be ready to go into the next one. The process was repeated for the other wall. Here you can see me getting that one all tacked together and weld it up.
Okay, now that I have the walls made, I have to get them basically hung up and test fit. And to do that, I needed to have some temporary means of securing the walls to the floor of the bus. And what I ended up doing was drilling three different holes on the tops of the wall panels that matched up holes that were already made in the actual floor panels. And I can use a quarter inch bolt just to tie them together and bolt it up quick. Not allowed me to fabricate everything and make sure all my spacing was correct and that the walls lined up where they needed to be. The locations of these holes had to be pretty accurate, so I had used a center punch to mark the center of each hole, and then I used an eighth inch pilot drill bit to drill a tiny hole that I would stay centered easily in the center punch divot. And then I drilled those out using a three eighths inch drill bit that gave me a little bit of extra room for the quarter inch bolt. So next my dad and Emily are going to help me get this wall lifted up into place and bolted up temporarily. Here I'll help you lift it up onto the... Oh, just push it on the Is that where you want it? Yeah, I'll be... Is that the back? Yeah, that'll work. I can move it back and forth and see if the first one is. See if you do it good this time. I was pretty impressed last time. I was too. I think I need to slide more that way. Okay. Wait a minute. Edge first again? Yep. Okay. Just wait. Just wait. I don't want to take it. So it was very difficult to get the bolt holes lined up just perfectly in order to get that quarter inch bolt through. Uh, Emily and my dad are working to try to get it lined up and I'm just kind of varying the amount of pressure we're putting up on the wall to get it into place because the wall is heavy enough that it's drooping at both ends from where I'm lifting it on the jack. One bolt down, two to go. Oh, yeah, let's go down. It's great. That's good. Push the screw back. Or go down just a little more. Yeah. You might have bent that screw. I'll mark. You may have to shift the whole thing back. Just to hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, good. Good call. In. So I had pre staged all of the bolts in the floor panels, and they're just hanging down. But unfortunately, this one got kind of caught up and pinched when I lifted up the wall because it wasn't lined up straight. And we're struggling to uh, get it to line up. And I think the threads are slightly damaged because of that. I'll do that. Or, I guess you can that. No, I think you should have done the structural attachment near the verticals. Don't you think so, Emily? Instead of in the center of the channel? Where'd you get the C channel from? Uh, Bailey's. Can you keep track? 
not like you gave us an extra little bit of extra length. There. Here, do you want me to can go up a little tighter? Yeah, go up. Can. Yeah, it's so snug against the. These are just to tack it up here. I'll weld every one of these channels where it touches. Oh. Yeah, we kind of dinged up the threads a little bit. Yeah. So that brings us to the end of this video. The wall framing is pretty much done. We'll still put the, the steel on the sides of it eventually, but I have a lot more framing to do underneath the bus before we can get to that point. I want to thank you all for sticking around to this point, and if you haven't had a chance yet, uh, hit the like button, it helps out quite a bit. And if you like this content, please subscribe, because we have a whole bus to build yet. So join Emily and I as we turn this bus into a home. Thank you.